Hey guys, it's Vanessa. Welcome back to the Vanessa Be Tripping channel. Uh, yeah, y'all know how I do. I leave, come back, leave, come back. New year, 2021. We have to be consistent with some things, right? Okay, so I'm just saying that. The big C word, not commitment, consistent. <laughs> All right, guys, so... The last vlog we discussed what? First and foremost, let me tell you, today is Monday. It's Martin Luther King's birthday. Very thankful for that man who sacrificed his life, his family. Um, he had love for people. And, you know, sadly, his life was ended because of all that, which is crazy, you know. Um, you know, but uh, happy birthday to the late Dr. Martin Luther King. Um, today is January the 18th, it's on a Monday. I'm officially, you guys, six months pregnant. Oh my gosh, 24 weeks in, going strong. I am super excited. Um, there's been so many things going on uh, I would like to touch base on. Um, I'm just going to tell you some brief things about myself, about the baby, uh, you know, so let's get to it. All right, so I'm six months pregnant today, guys. Let's start off with some symptoms. Uh, my earring got stuck. Okay. All right, so I've been trying to rest more. I'm a person who constantly is on the go all the time. I'm used to doing that even when I'm pregnant. With Kiara and Joshua, I was always on the go, always doing something, even when I was pregnant. I went full term with them, 40 weeks, and I'm supposed to be the same one with this baby. I'm a little older, <laughs> so that, you know, the age where I, I had Kiara when I was 24, yeah, and I had Joshua four years ago, I'm 35, so... Now I'm 35 and my body is different. So some symptoms I may have had before, um, I don't have now or vice versa. Right now, I'm trying to learn how to listen to my body, okay? Uh, it's hard to listen to my body sometimes because I'm like, oh, I got this, I'm cool, I'm cool. But it's not just my body right now. Women, if you're pregnant, realize it's not just your body. You're sharing it with a little thing that's gonna grow into a big, watermelon and you need to nourish it and everything you can to make sure that this baby is getting everything it needs to have and it's a selfish thing to not do what you need to do while you're pregnant um i know some people can't control some things that they do like eating and all that stuff the wrong things and they blame it oh it's cravings but you can't you have to remember you have something that's so dearly like precious in your body that that is holding you accountable who is looking for you to you know be that responsible parent and do what you need to do um so just keep that in mind um okay so i've had some back pain I don't like taking medicine like that. I try to do home remedies first. Um, if you do home remedies for your pregnancy, please let me know. Like if you have anything like back pain or whatever, what do you use for a home remedy? Um, me, I just relax because I know if my body relax, I'm good. Um, I try to relax. I try to do things that relaxes my mind, relaxes my body. I, I do my own nails. Y'all already seen some videos back in the day or whatever where I do my own nails. Like these are my nails, okay? And I'll sit down and I'll do my nails, okay? I have my back supported, all that stuff. I also have a pregnancy pillow, which I'll probably end up sharing in another video. But that thing works wonders. It just puts me to sleep like some type of drug. It just put me to sleep. Um, I'll have to share that information with you guys too as well because I bought that off of Amazon. So, well, yeah, I got it off of Amazon or whatever. But listen, guys, um, yeah, so I try to use Tylenol. You know, you cannot use aspirin and ibuprofen. They say you have to use Tylenol. So, but my biggest thing is to try to rest first. Try to get the 
the way I try to think in a biblical way, like what would they have done back in the day in the biblical days? Like they didn't have Tylenol. So they rested, you know what I'm saying? Like, what do they do? They have massages and all that stuff. By the way, if you haven't gotten your prenatal massage, go get one. Okay. All right. So I have had stretch marks before in my previous pregnancies, in which I said before I've had two. And I was trying to figure this whole thing out. My mom used to talk about, she would say, Vanessa, get some cocoa butter, get some shea butter. I'm like, huh? But it works. I use the Palmer's um, shea butter, cocoa butter every morning, every night. I use it. Um, and I just have to, I, I just go all around my stomach, my sides, and my back area because that's where I'm stretching out the most is in the front. I will show you guys in a minute. Um, but it's like, really, like it really works. Baby oil and mixture of a Palmer's cocoa butter and all that stuff. You just mix it and just rub it on you. Simple. Um, it makes your skin smooth. I also use Shea Moisture, um, the Shea Butter Raw Shea Butter Soap that has um, frankincense and mirth in it, which makes your skin, you know, smooth. I like I like to be smooth and smell good all the time. That's just me. Um, but yeah, so that's what I've been using every morning and night. Um, I have had some lower abdomen pain. Um, it's stretching. You know, things on the inside are stretching out. So uh, pretty much like I've been trying to carry that it's the weight in me inside of my stomach. So I'm like, Ugh. so it's hurting. I have, ha have experienced the Braxton Hicks. Um, you know, that's like the the false contractions to um prepare your body for labor um i've felt those a few times um whew, yeah yeah uh i want to be doing another video on my birthing plan on what i want to do how i want to do it all that stuff um but guys like my doctor said a month ago that i had a low-lying placenta in which, you know, I'm sitting there like, what? But he gave me a month and said, okay, come back and we'll do another ultrasound scan and we'll see how the placenta is. And it's now doing great. Like, it's where it needs to be. Um, if, if things would have gone in the same direction of having a low-lying placenta, they said I would have had to have had a C-section later on in my pregnancy instead of me having natural. Kiara and Joshua, I had both of them natural. Yes, I did have epidural. It wore off. I felt everything. Ouch. I still have flashbacks from it. But it's okay. They're, they were well worth, <laughs> well worth me going through the pain. But, um, yeah, so I... I'm feeling very confident about this pregnancy. Um, Austin, he's feeling very confident about this pregnancy. He is being a great father already by just saying, hey, look, have you had your water? Are you drinking enough water? Are you resting? All that stuff. Okay. And it's, it's crazy, guys, because honestly, like, I don't know if I've told you guys, but like, he's three hours away. He's in South Carolina. So we're in transition mode where we're trying to get everything together. We're making this thing happen together. Um, all that stuff. Um, you know, I may even make a video about that. You know, emotionally, it's so funny, but he may be that far away. But he feels, to me, I feel like he's like right here because he's always there. Like he's always calling or doing some type of texting or he's doing some type of FaceTime to make me feel he is present. No, he is not allowed it any appointments due to COVID. In the beginning, I was feeling kind of crazy about that. I was like, oh my gosh, this is his first child. He's not going to experience all the doctor's appointments with me. And I felt some type of way. But guys, like, I'm like I've always said, be thankful for everything. And what if we didn't have technology? What if we didn't have, you know, what if I couldn't 
afford to have a phone where I can do FaceTime. You got to think about the little small stuff. Small stuff really count. So I'm excited. Like he'll go get off of work and I may have a doctor's appointment, but he's there. He's present. Like he's there. So I'll put him on. Hey, babe. <laughs> Here's the baby. You know, and everything. So we are just so thrilled about everything. We are handling everything the way we need to handle it. Um, and as long as we are the ones who are satisfied with the way we are handling it, we don't care about what anybody else say. Um, and that's what is making our long distance relationship stronger because of the fact that we both trust each other. We're both confident that our relationship is going to like grow, like it's going to flourish and it's going to be blessed because we're already being blessed with this little one. But, um, you know, like I said before, you know, life is not always perfect, but you got to make it your own because it's your own. Duh. All right, so um, on to the baby. All right, I'm about to tell you guys something. So, boy or girl, I'm waiting. Y'all done? Y'all done trying to figure it out? It's a boy. So, his name is, I'm not going to say will be because we already talked to him, okay? His name is Jackson Isaiah Allen. Um, I just starting today, I told, because he, he's always up moving around. Uh, and it's so funny. Like, he's up all the time. And being that his dad works third shift, he's up third shift. And I work first <sighs> at night. I'm up. Sometimes. Sometimes he'll go to sleep. But for the most part, I'm like this. <laughs> um, yeah, so pretty much Jackson, I call him Action Jackson because he's always moving. He's always doing something. That's his nickname from me. So I am so pleased with that name. Um, how we came up with the name, uh, I am an old school person. Like, my parents were older, so... My sisters and all of our like our siblings, we were, we grew up with old spirits. I believe I may have gotten that old spirit a little more than them because I just love old music, love everything that's antique, whatever. But guys, oh my gosh! If you remember that old movie, Steel Magnolias with Dolly Parton, Julia Roberts, with them in it. Um, I think it came out late eighties, early nineties. I think. But guys, really. That movie, in the movie, Julia Roberts named her son Jackson. And when I was younger, I just loved that name. I was like, oh my gosh, I like that name. Um, I looked it up. It it means something. I can't remember, but uh, we wanted something biblical in his name as well. And so that's when we came up with Isaiah. So um, so I I'm so happy with the name choice. Um, it was best. It was. It was a mutual agreement. Like, we didn't fight over the name or anything like that, um, you know. But it's just something that really just stuck with us, and it matched him. Um, so, um, yeah. All right. But we have also, we've seen ultrasounds of him flipping and carrying on, moving, and all types of things. But I'm going to have a video with just ultrasound um pictures and um i don't have video they don't they didn't allow for us to like record so you know but when you see the shots that they got of him it's so funny but i also have the regular three the regular ultrasound pictures and 3d and 4d um but yeah um i'm just so excited and kiara and joshua are excited joshua is like i'm gonna be a big brother is it time yet? Like, he's in that type of stage. I just thank God for my children. And, you know, they are wonderful. And they make sure that I get my rest. They make sure that I'm good. Um, they give me love. Like, there's nothing 
like getting receiving love from a child, you know. Um, I mean, just it's, it's amazing, you know, how they are right now about them. Uh, Joshua never experienced a new baby. <laughs> Kiara did with him. <laughs> but I'm just excited to see how both of them are going to react to Jackson. So, um, you know, guys, I just, I feel so overwhelmed um, with everything. Like I said, uh, Austin and I are working behind the scenes on making our relationship work with this long distance. Um, we are going to, for all you haters out there, all you, uh, all you whatever, whatever, say what you want to say. We still going to get this stuff done. This thing called life is happening and we're going to live it the way we know how and the way we want to. So, you know, but I am so excited. <sighs> oh, yeah. Another symptom is I've been out of breath lately. Like, I could be going, like, from here to the kitchen and, like, right over here, that's where the kitchen is. And I'm just like, look, I'm out of breath already. What's going on? Um, Let me just add on a few other things, too. I'm thinking as I go, one of my coworkers, she said that I have a thing called pregnesia. <laughs> <laughs> it's like being pregnant and have amnesia at the same time, can't remember anything. So, um, but yeah, one other thing is my gosh. Hey, look, if you have children, like I said, if you've been through the whole breastfeeding stage and all that stuff, you already understand it starts early. Okay. They have gotten bigger. <sighs> They've been boom right there. But guys, I'm excited because I do want to breastfeed this time. Um, I did. I've only breastfed a couple of months with Kiara and Joshua, and then I just could not produce any milk anymore. Um, I am looking into more things this time because I really want to have that experience for a longer period of time than I did experience with the other babies. So I just want that. So uh, if I can't have it, then formula it, it will be. But I want to make sure that I at least give it a try because it's who ha that stuff can be painful. Whew. All right. Um how am I? How am I? I'm working. I'm taking one day at a time. Uh I'm a mother. I'm taking one day at a time with that. Um each day comes with its obstacles. You are in control of your emotions and how you deal with those obstacles. Um, I have dealt in the beginning, I felt the emotional state of not having Austin right here with me. The COVID thing, not allowing him to be there at the doctor's appointments. But guys, I always say, God is amazing. And if you just keep him in your life, he will continue to remind you of things that are important, okay? Because like I said before, it is really the small things that count. And right now I'm using technology. You know, I have a tablet, I have a computer, I have a phone who has cameras and I can talk and see. Guys, I thought that was something. I got used to this hair. Let me tell you, I know that was funny. I got used to this hair. Y'all know I haven't had, haven't had my hair done in a while. So, so if I jump, I'm thinking of something on me, it's just my hair. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, guys, I'm just so thankful for what I have. Um, Guys, people who know me, they know what I've been through for the past almost three years. Um going on four years actually uh lost my mom almost three years ago that was my best friend well three years ago um that was my best friend yeah we bickered we fought we we were cool we were you know what i'm saying like we we were like this and you know i i figure like she's my guardian angel to me and my children um this is what she would have wanted uh she really 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 loved Austin because <laughs> we used to date back in the day and she was like oh that's the guy for you da, da. like she just kept saying that and I'm like okay but you know we don't always fully understand life 
And then when that moment happened, isn't it funny how we may not be able to remember something that's important, but we instantly remember whatever that moment was that someone's talking about. We're like, oh, yeah. It's like, that's what I get every day. I get that, oh, yeah, moment. And I'm just thankful. Like, you know, every day I'm just really thankful. Um, I pray that this video reach out to people who are six months pregnant. I hope I may have helped you. Um, with some things that I am going through um, as far as being six months pregnant and also being in a long distance relationship, being that way. Um, you know, I just really like, I really, I, I grew up, I would say I really grew up from the way I used to be. I really grew up and I had to go from you know, losing my mom, a divorce, losing my dog, you know what I'm saying? The whole separation thing, the whole divorce thing, the whole thing. And it wasn't just me. It was also my children going through that. And there's somebody, not just somebody, there's some people around the globe who may come across my video who've been through the same thing. That's why I don't just talk about one thing. Because once you get into one thing, you can start another and another and another. But whatever's on my heart, that's what I'm going to say. That's just me. But, um, yeah. But I am just super excited about Jackson. Like I said, his due date is May the 10th of this year. And we're going to go ahead and start ordering things. We're going to start our baby registry. Um, we're going to start doing all types of things. Um the world is different now okay the world is different and we have to adapt to it but it's okay and it's gonna be okay so with that being said guys thank you so much for watching those of you who do watch i love you those who don't watch I still love you um i have to be consistent to grow if you be consistent you can grow and that's that i'm gonna say so i won't say about that but um I love you guys and be safe out there. Remember to wear your mask, stay six feet away from people and all that stuff. And just enjoy your life the safe way, the way you're supposed to. Um, all right, guys, uh, hit the like button, subscribe. Um, tell everybody who knows somebody that knows somebody about Vanessa be tripping. Um, there's so many ways that I have mapped out that I can go with my channel now. And I'm just going to just do it. That's what everybody else did with YouTube. They just said, you know what? Let's just do it. And either they were successful or not. But whether I have one view to ten views, it reached out to those people. It's not even that big of a deal to me. Like, I just want to talk. <laughs> I just want to talk. And I just want to share my experience with you guys. So, with that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I will definitely see you next time. I'm going to try to come up with some more videos in which I, there's so many things that I can do, being that I'm pregnant. I'm going to show you my stomach right now, and I'm just going to, you know, because I did promise that. All right, so, oh boy. All right, so I have on my biker shorts, so don't laugh. But this is what my stomach looked like right now. Like, he's super duper in there. <laughs> he is in there, in there, in there. And I have a few little stretch marks. These are scars. That would be another story I would tell one day. Okay? That would be another story. Um, but going forward, um, yeah, that's it. So, that's my six-month vlog. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Um, and... Come back to see me. Love you guys. Bye.